Welcome to a new video from Accelerate Analysis Series PQB or Power Query Basics. This video PQB12, we continue talking about merge queries. In this video, we are going to see how we can replace some if with Power Query or with merge queries. And also we look at something called aggregate. We are going to use it instead of expand while we using the merge queries function. And we'll see how we can use the sum function to aggregate numeric values while doing the merge queries. If you want to follow along while watching the video, or even if you want to practice after watching the video, please go down in the description section. You will find the link. Please use it to download the Excel file and also use the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified with the new videos. In our practical example today, you can see that we have two tables. First table is the sales transactions coming from AAA bike shops. You can see that we have more than uh, 69,000 rows. We have at the first column, we have the product ID, then we have the date, the quantity, price, and the revenue for each sales transaction. And in the other table, we have the product ID and the product name. So what is required now? is to prepare a summary for the sales for this uh, entire year sale into uh, something similar to this table, meaning that we need to summarize the sales of the helmets. We put the subtotal of the helmet sales and quantity here, and also for the lights, locks, and for every and each uh, line item on each product of these products. We are going to do this using Power Query instead of the normal sum if function that we use in Excel. So in order to start with the Power Query, we are going to go to the data ribbon. On the left hand side, we'll see the get and transform data. And we need to start to load our tables into the Power Query. In order to do this, first of all, I need to have the data into a table format, which I already did. And also to give a meaningful name for each one of these two tables. And I did the same also, if you look at table design on the left hand side, you can see that the table name is sales 2019 and the other table called products, which is okay. So let's start directly with the first table. I'm going to select any cell inside the first table, sales 2019. And from data, get and transform, I'm going to select this icon and click it will automatically trigger the Power Query Editor. On the right hand side, you can see that the name of the query inherited from the name of the table, Sales 2019. And I have only two applied steps. First one is the source. When we pointed the Power Query to get the data from the table, the table called 20, Sales 2019. And then the second step, uh, Excel tried to identify, or Power Query tried to identify the type, the proper type for each column of the five columns in the middle you'll see the preview of our data and let's check the data types for product id one to three meaning whole number which is fine date and time for the date column it's okay but it's better to change to date only i can just select the icon from the top left of the column here and select date only this is much better i can click on replace current instead of inserting a new uh, applied step and also for quantity one to three meaning whole number which is fine price and revenue one to two meaning it's a decimal number which is okay as well for this query i am ready i can just close and load close and load close and load to the power query editor will close and the import data dialog box will pop in let me choose only create a connection and click on ok the queries and connection pane will open. I'll see that I have only one query and it is connection only. Let's go to the other table. I'm going to select any cell inside the products table. And again from data, I'm going to use the same icon from table or range. Once I click, it will trigger the power query editor. On the right hand side, you'll see the name inherited from the name of the table products and the apply steps. Again, I have only two apply steps, the source, when the Excel pointed to the table, the targeted table, and then change type when the Excel tried to identify the proper data type for each column. As you can see, one to three is good for product ID and ABC is not bad for the product name. Why? Because ABC is text, so it's okay. 
now I am ready to do my merge inside this query you'll see that I have uh, 25 rows and I want to summarize the revenue and quantity in front of this rows how I'm going to do this it's very simple I'm going to home and from home uh, combine section and from combine section I'm going to select merge queries once I click on it it will trigger the merge query dialog box by default the upper half of the of the merge query dialog box will select automatically the query I am already selecting now which is the products query and here is the preview of the two columns inside this query on the bottom half of the screen I'm going to select sales 2019 which is the transaction table and you will see here is the preview of the data inside this query I want to do the join now don't forget that you need the join kind to be left outer now I want to select the column that the query will use to do the join or the match which is obviously the product ID so I'm going to select from the upper table and also from the lower table and if you look down here you'll see that the selection matches 25 of 25 meaning that each product ID here in the upper column there is a match for it inside the sales 2019 table which is okay I can just click on okay a new column will be created called sales 2019 and inside each row inside this column uh, we are going to see something called table if you select the white area here not the table itself just because if you select the table here it will open the table itself as you can see here and this is not what you want just you can get rid of this and delete you want to select the empty space to preview the data inside this table and if you look down here you will see that the query bring all the matches inside this table all the records matching 2001 which is helmets are coming inside this table all the records from the other table and it is a lot of um, records and that's why if you are going to expand if you did the expand like here like what we usually do this table will be expanded and it will be more or less the same size as the sales 2019 table which is not what we want to do exactly we want to do just the summary or the aggregate of each line of those lines so let's try another one let's try uh, 2004 tires and tubes if you just select on the right here you will see all the matches coming on this so let's do our new magic I'm going to use the same button here the two arrows in the two different directions here I'm just going to select once I click on it it will give you the normal expand window but instead of using expand and select the fields you are going to use aggregate instead once you select aggregate you will see some other options don't forget to uncheck use original column names as prefix and look at the options that you have I can sum the quantity which is required for me I can also sum the revenue which is fine for me I can sum the price but it will not give me anything that is reasonable or uh, making sense so I'm not going to use it you can also sum the product ID which is also something that is not useful or not or, or meaningless and also you can count the date because date is not a value that you can sum so you can do just accounting for the date for me mm, it's not required as well so I'm stick I'm going to stick only to sum of quantity and sum of revenue and that was my original um, my original requirement at the beginning let me click on ok you will see that new columns created the first one is the sum of quantity and the other one is sum of revenue but you'll see that uh, the type is not correct because if you see the icon of the uh, data type is abc and one two three in the same box meaning that excel did not identify exactly what is the type of these two columns i can select the first one and from this icon i'm going to choose whole number for the revenue column let me select decimal number there is no need for the product ID column now I have the name the sum of quantity and the sum of revenue so I'm going to select it from the header and remove column now this query is ready to load close and load close and load to the power creator will be closed and the import data dialog box will be opened let me select existing worksheet and let us put it in k1 and click on ok a new table will be created and here you go here is the the summary that is required you have the product name you have the sum of quantity and you have 
the sum of revenue you can just do a very quick number formatting and now you are simply done and before leaving you if you didn't subscribe yet to the channel please do like the video if you like it and leave me a comment and thank you very much for your time and see you in next video and bye